okay, so this is the third part in our video capture saga. Just to get you up to speed, what I'm trying to accomplish is I'm trying to create basically like a, an MP4 VCR, an H.264 VCR where I can just uh, plug in an HDMI or composite connection and just capture that video. I started in our first video, I got this little cheap Digit Now capture box for 65 bucks and it was just a cheap Chinese box that blew out on me uh, after just a few days of use. And so I decided, okay, let's get a little higher end. So I bought this $129 uh, HDML cloner box which had some nice features and looked very pretty but uh, didn't really fulfill my needs. It, it just captured everything in, in HD and it had a little rough edges. It was like a little higher end Chinese box. So now I've, uh, I've returned all of those and I've bought this Avermedia Easy Recorder 130. I've gone with Avermedia. Actually, I, I found this Avermedia Easy Recorder 130 at the same time that I bought the HTML Cloner Box Pro, I like I, I found it after I purchased it, and I was oh my god, that's exactly what I want. The Easy Recorder seems to be geared toward uh, recording video. The, these other boxes are what they call game capture boxes. They're they're uh, they're all geared toward capturing uh, game footage, playing a, a video game, and recording that and putting that on YouTube and making millions, you know. <laughs> so, <laughs> Avermedia, or not quite maybe, Avermedia kind of goes back to the beginnings of this DVR, which started in the, the early 2000s, where they um, there were a lot of companies creating these uh, PVRs, or personal video recorders. There was Hopage, or Hopage, or whatever you call them, Hopage. I, like, I call them Hopage. Hopage was making some, Avermedia was making some of these, mainly it was Hopage. And these things were kind of supposed to be like uh, a TiVo on steroids. TiVo for your, your PC. It allowed you to, to connect in, at that point in the early 2000s, your component connections, and there were these big boxes, and they would stream the, uh, the cable signal to your, to your computer, and you would record it in whatever MPEG-2 way back in the day. And so, you know, that, that, that was how it, how it was done in the early 2000s and Myth TV and people wanting to create their own TiVos on their, their computers, their home theater PCs. It was just, again, it was all real news, new stuff. That's kind of died out. I mean, there are still a couple of enthusiasts and uh, fanatics, whatever you want to call them, who are obsessed with, uh, you know, building their own TiVo in Windows or, or, or Mac or whatever. But for the most part, everybody's streaming, everybody's using the, the TiVo, the DVR that came from their cable company. And uh, so uh, game capture is now the big thing. Now that, That's now the fad. Everybody wants to stream live to Twitch or wh whatever, and whatever this crap. But I don't want to, I'm not playing games, I'm just recording video. And this A for Media, they make a lot of different boxes. Some of them actually have component inputs. This Easy Recorder 130 only has an HDMI in and it's geared toward recording video. But uh, the only way you can record most HDMI sources is by putting a little black box there, getting the black box, putting a splitter which can strip out, or something which can strip out the HDCP, uh, the High Definition Bandwidth Content Protection, you know, basically the, the copy guard, and allow you to connect uh, through HDMI into this Avermedia Easy Recorder and record. And I mean, Avermedia makes it really obvious on the box. It's it's like um, you know back in the days with that um, when you buy an iPod and it had it in the cellophane, "Don't steal music" or "Stealing music is illegal" or something. You know, on the Avermedia website, they have a big, big let, and even on the Amazon website, they have this big banner. Recording through connecting a splitter is illegal, you know? If you were a cynical mind, one would think that this is maybe Avermedia giving a very subtle hint that, hey, this is how you record <laughs> cable TV by getting a splitter. But okay, I'm going to think the best. So <clears throat> you need a splitter. Uh, I got a splitter. 
And one of the things uh, is that when I connected my DVR to the splitter and then the splitter to that HTML cloner box, the cloner box would not uh, w would not pass the audio. It was just silent. And I tried changing uh, the uh, audio preferences on my DVR. I tried changing it to Dolby Digital output, to HDMI output, a lot of different kinds of outputs. Uh, there's an output that says, says other. None of them worked. None of them worked. Uh, connected it to the Easy Recorder 130 out of the box. It worked. Uh, recorded sound and video with no problem. Uh, so, I, you know, I don't know, again, another strike against the HTML Cloner Box Pro. Another reason why I didn't just immediately cancel the HTML Cloner Box uh, order and, and purchase this Avermedia thing is that I thought that the Avermedia is a few years old. So I thought, hmm, maybe it's, maybe this new box, which was just, I think, released just this year, the HTML Cloner, it's got the bells and whistles, maybe it might be better. And, uh, no, no. The the Avermedia Easy Recorder. It's obvious that the software running on this thing is mature, uh, and it's and the menus were were designed by by someone who um, is an English speaker. Uh, it is it has the polish and fit and finish of a device. Uh, really easy to to record. Uh, you know, really really super easy. The menus are all very, you know, it even you, you have an option to eject the disc. You you've got you definitely have to read the manual. There's a lot of stuff that I'm still learning about it, but I mean, basically, you know, plugging in a, a you know a hard a, a a USB hard drive, record to it. Very simple. Very, very like all these things. You got a record button. You know, record buttons even on the top of the box. You record. You do it and it saves it. By default, the Avermedia tries to uh, put a watermark uh, on the upper uh, left-hand corner of your screen. You can turn that off. Uh, you can turn off pass-through so that it, when even when the box is turned off, though it's really never kind of turned off, uh, it, it will just send the, uh, the HDMI signal straight through. Um, there are three quality levels that you can pick, and it even gives you the uh, the bit rate that it, that it actually uh, is going to give those files to. The video quality, I honestly think the HDMI Cloner Box gave me a little bit higher video quality. It's a little bit, little bit better. It's difficult to tell because digital cable, even high definition digital cable, can be so low bit rate and pixelated at times, and it's kind of like, hmm, is there, uh, you know. I thought it was a little bit higher quality um, because I've been mainly using the middle setting here, the mid quality on this Easy Recorder. But I, overall, I think it's the quality is still quite good. Very, 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 still very good. Maybe a hair sharper on the HTML cloner. Uh, sync, audio sync is rock solid. Uh, I haven't had the thing reboot or do any kind of weird things. Uh, decide not to record like the HTML cloner or the or the um, or the the, the digit now box uh, so the performance of the thing is just perfect I I really have no complaints the big the big the big uh, the big issue though is because I, I originally bought these boxes with kind of the end goal of being also the real-time capture loads and loads of VHS at, at, at a good quality is that you, out of the box you cannot really do that with the Easy Recorder. The Easy Recorder, as I said, only has HDMI inputs. It has one HDMI input, you know, the HTML cloner box and the other ones they have component inputs, no component inputs on this guy. HDMI only and uh, now you could again get, get one of those um, composite or component to HDMI boxes. According to uh, this Amazon review I read of the Easy Recorder, there's, there's not many boxes that can take uh, a composite signal and then output a 480i or 480p, uh, 480p signal to uh, HDMI. Uh, because all, all you have done, a lot of these boxes, some of them are kind of very, very cheap, 10 or 12 dollars, 20 dollars, 50 dollars, 100 dollars. 
they all output in 720p or 1080p. And when you get to the more, the, there is a box, I think it's about 130, 150 that can output 7, uh, uh, 480i. And uh, according to this review, if you connect that to this to this box, it'll it will write 480i MP4s. It'll do that, and I believe it because I you know jacked in my uh, uh, 1080i uh, HDMI signal from the cable box, and it records. It records it in 1080i. It uh, takes in what I give it. So if you are able to get a 480i uh, sig HDMI signal into this box, either through uh, a composite HDMI box or some kind of DVD or VHS recorder that would send the signal to 480i over HDMI. If you got into this box, I'm sure that it would be able to write a nice standard 480i or 480p um, MP4 file to to the to the drive. So. Again, that's that's one minus, but otherwise the fit and finish of it, it does have timer recordings. It has a as a, a timer recording feature that's just as primitive as the HTML cloner one event. Um, kind of yeah, not too many not too many frills here. You know, it's just a recorder. It just records mainly. So that's it. There's not really much to say about the Easy Recorder in that it is an older device. Uh, it's about as expensive, uh, it's about $129, uh, about as expensive as some of the newer boxes, but it really is geared toward recording uh, cable television. That's pretty much all it does, even though in order to do it, you, you have to, you have to, uh, <laughs> you kind of, you're required to get a, you know, the, the, the ye old proverbial black box. You're able, you, you need the little black box to get the, the video in there, but once you do that, uh, everything is pretty much smooth sailing, so uh, I really liked it, and uh, yeah, it's it's not as modern and cool looking as the as the uh, and it doesn't have all the the blinky lights that the HDMI Cloner Box Pro. It's kind of a boring box, but uh, you know, definitely worth it. And you know, there's not too many boxes, modern boxes, that can record directly to a flash drive or external hard drive. A lot of them like. There's uh, devices from Opage and Elgato that are still out there that want you to connect in a, a computer, that you know that you want to stream or to your computer, stream to a file. And now this this one is really nice. It's just geared toward being a nice little H.264 VCR, where you plug in your little external hard drive and you start recording. So, aside from the fact that uh, 480i, you, you know you can't, there's no, doesn't have a component input uh, immediately. You know, despite that, uh, you know, little uh, setback, it's otherwise a really great little box.